Less stress, more time, more money. Welcome to the Cash Flow Contractor. Short with Khalil Ben Ali Hajj. What's up, Cash Flow Contractors? Khalil here with another short to help you find less stress, more time, and more money. Excited to talk to you today about small signals. Small signals that can help you build a culture at your company where people feel safe, where people feel connected, and where they feel like they belong. And this doesn't just apply to your company, but it applies to your relationships, to your family, to your friends, anywhere that you are with others to create people that wanna be around you and that trust you and feel like you're connected to them. So I wanna share a story really quick about um, a experiment that psychologists did where they gave two different groups a puzzle. And one was a control group where they gave a puzzle, they asked them to complete it. It wasn't a very difficult puzzle, but it was a puzzle that did take a little bit of time. You weren't gonna finish in two minutes, but you did have to give some work at it to finish it in 10 minutes. And with that first group, they gave them the puzzle, asked them to complete it. The second group, after two minutes of working on the puzzle, a guy knocked it, knocked on the door, comes in and says, hey, Steve did this puzzle earlier and he wanted to share a tip with you. And they hand him a post-it note. And the tip isn't some groundbreaking, hey, this is what the puzzle looks like or whatever. It's really just a form of encouragement that Steve gives in that post-it note. And what they saw from doing this experiment is that the group that received that tip from Steve, their brains lit up immediately. They worked harder on the puzzle, they were more motivated, and they worked longer than the other control group. And all of those changes in behavior were connected to that signal, that small signal, because it felt like someone cared about you. Steve's done this puzzle and he wants to share this with you because he wants you to succeed too. It is the value of having a coach, for example. Whenever you have a coach with you on a team that you're on and they're motivating you and they're telling you, hey, you can do this, they're trying to guide you to success, it's powerful and it feels really great and it makes you want to work harder and it makes you feel more motivated. That's why like working with Martin as a business coach is so great because he can play that role for myself or his clients as well. Um, another example is a rehab that was in Colorado and they would have, they were really a short term facility working with people for 30 days as the longest uh, stint that they would come to this rehab. And they would have a lot of people that would either, you know, have to come back right afterwards or go on to another rehab or unfortunately pass away from overdosing, whatever it was. And they tried this experiment with half of the people where they sent them a, a small postcard saying, dear so-and-so, it's been uh, two weeks since you've left our facility. Just wanted to reach out and let you know that we're happy that you've graduated from here and we hope that you are having so much success in the real world. And if we can ever be of assistance, please let us know. Really simple postcard where they sent out to one group and they just like in the past, they didn't have this process before, and to another group, they didn't send that postcard. What they noticed is that, is that there was a 60% likelihood that the patient that received the postcard wouldn't be back in a rehab facility if they received that card, which is huge numbers. Um, and it shows that there's that small signal of reach out can play a big difference. So these are small signals that are obvious for us to see that they can play a difference and that they matter. But what does that really look like in our company and why should we be really doing this? Are we going to have a 60% retention rate because of we send a postcard to an employee? No, probably not. But what can we do to replicate this inside of our companies? If you look at the models that companies base their hiring process on and how they build their teams, there's really three models. There's the star model, which is basing it on talent, on hiring the, the brightest and the smartest people. There's the professional model, which is building around specific skills, people that have the most experience in this role or this title and hiring those people. And then the third model is the commitment model, which is really building a team around shared values and strong emotional bonds. And if you look at the success rate of companies that have gone on with these hiring models, consistently the commitment model has the highest success rate. Most companies that succeed are going on that commitment model, not the professional model or the star model. And it's not just about the hiring process, but it's also about the perspective. When you go on the star model and you hire the brightest and the smartest, you expect them 
to achieve things that no other team can achieve. When you hire on the professional model around specific skills and experience, you expect your team to know how to do things and to be able to deliver consistent, predictable results. But when you go into the perspective of building a team around a shared set of values and strong emotional bonds like on the commitment model, you're going in with the perspective that you want to create a culture of belonging, of connectedness, of safety. And you do things that these other teams won't do to create that atmosphere, to create that culture. And you do that through small signals. So if you want to have a successful company that has a shared connectedness, that has a really good emotional bond where people feel like they are safe and they're, they're trusted and they can do their best work because they're in that atmosphere, you have to have these small signals. And so it, it's those things that are encouraging, those little tips, those pats on the backs. It's going above and beyond and, and buying them coffee and giving them gifts, uh, letting them know what the customer said about them, uh, giving them positive feedback. When they make mistakes, telling them that it's okay, how can we learn from this? Um, and, and really also pointing out the negative behavior and not allowing the negative behaviors around makes people feel the people that didn't perform the negative behavior, it makes them feel like, wow, this is, this is right because we're not allowing things to happen that are bad. It, they feel like they understand what is appropriate, what's not appropriate. This also goes with customers. You can have that same attitude towards customers of sending them small signals to let them know that you care, to let them know that they're important and they'll want to continue to work with you and they'll love your business. Uh, it goes with your family too. You know, a lot of times as a business owner, we're extremely busy. We don't have um, enough time to do all the things that we want to do. But if we can take a moment and send a small signal to our family and to our friends, even if we're not gonna have a ton of time to hang out with our grandparents or our cousins, or aunts and uncles, and especially even our kids, those small signals make a big difference. So what I wanna encourage you to do is to give more small signals in your business. Send more thank you cards, send more text messages, give little impromptu calls. Um, and there's actually something in it for you too because when you do those things, you feel connected. It's not just about making others feel connected, it's about connecting you to your employees, to your coworkers, to your family and friends as well. And we think when we think of belonging, we usually think of something that happens from the inside out where, oh wow, I feel like I belong, so then I act the part and do the part. But really it happens out in, uh, outside in, where if we reach out to someone and we let them know that they belong, then they feel belonged. So this is small signals, more of an abstract topic for most people, not very strategic or tactical, but there are some things that you can go do. Go send that text, go call that person, go tell them that they're doing a good job, go tell them that you're proud of them, whatever it is to make them feel like they belong and create a culture of belonging and strong emotional bonds inside of your business. I hope that this is helpful. I hope that this is encouraging to you. And I hope that this uh, message of small signals helps you to find less stress, more time and more money in your business. Thanks. Thanks for listening to the Cashflow Contractor. Check out our website in the show notes or visit thecashflowcontractor.com.